In this video, we will discuss about an Excel template which will give alert messages on expiry dates of policies, services or documents which needs to be renewed after a certain period of time. Here is the list of my insurance policies, OTT services which I have subscribed and documents related to my vehicles. In the second column we have the date of purchase. This third column of the table contains the validity of services in months. Using this data, I have calculated the expiry dates, then the days left for expiry or days elapsed after expiry of these policies or services. In the last column, we have this text expired against all expired services and expiring soon against the services that are going to expire under 7 days. And also, the rows containing expired services will be highlighted in red color and services that are going to expire in next 7 days will be highlighted in yellow color. Now let's see how to create an excel template like this. Same data which we saw a moment earlier. Here is the date on which I purchased my medical insurance policy. 20th of September 2021. And the policy is valid for 12 months. Now to find the expiry date of this policy. Equal edate function. Open parenthesis. First argument of edate function is start date. Here we have to specify the date on which the policy was purchased. Comma. Second argument months. The policy is valid for 12 months. Close parenthesis. Minus 1. Enter. And here we have the expiry date of this policy. 19th of September 2022. But today is 27th of September 2022. So that means it has been a few days since the policy expired. So let's calculate how many days have elapsed after the expiry. For that, equal, specify the expiry date, minus, today function, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, end. The cell is displaying a series of hash signs and this is because the formula returned a negative date. We'll apply general format to the cell, right click, format, general okay and we have negative 8 here means it has been 8 days since the expiry date of the policy here is the date on which i got the puc certificate of my car to calculate the expiry date of this certificate and days left for expiry or days elapsed after expiry i will copy these formulas into the cells below See the PUC certificate will expire on 7th of October 2022 and there are 10 days left for expiry. Once again I will copy the formulas into the cells below. See the date on which I purchased the insurance policy of my bike, 15th October 2021. This policy will expire on 14th of October 2022 and there are 17 days left for expiry. As we have used today function in the formulas, Whenever we open this file, these values will update according to the current date. These cells will be displaying the number of days left for expiry or elapsed after expiry on that particular day. Next, we need to display the text expired against the policies or services that have expired and expiring soon against the policies that are going to expire under 7 days. For that, we will be using nested if equal if function open parenthesis. First argument of if function is logical test. A negative value in this cell means the policy has already expired. To check that, we will select this cell, less than 0. If the value in this cell is less than 0, that means the policy has already expired. In that case, this cell has to display expired, comma, double quotes, expired, double quotes, comma. Now we have to check whether the value in this cell is less than or equal to 7. For that, if function, open parenthesis, less than or equal to 7, comma, if the value in this cell is greater than 0 and less than or equal to 7, we will display expiring soon, double quotes, expiring soon, double quotes, comma, double quotes, double quotes, close parenthesis, once again close parenthesis, 
enter. Right now the value in this cell is negative 8, means it has been 8 days since expiry. So the status is expired. Let's modify the purchase date here. We'll make it October. Nothing shown in the status. That means there are so many days left for renewal. Let's modify the date once again. Say I change the purchase date to 29th of September 2021 and the policy will expire on 28th of September 2022. That means there is only one day left for expiry and the status is expiring soon. We'll copy this formula into the cells below. Now to highlight the rows for expired policies and services in red color, we'll select the entire table in the home tab, conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format, click inside this input box, equal. We have to select the first cell in the column containing status. Remove the dollar sign before the row index 4. Equal, double quotes, expired, double quotes. To select the color, format, fill, for light red, more colors. Okay, okay, once again, okay. See the expired services are highlighted in light red color. To highlight the services which will expire under 7 days in yellow color, select the cells containing data, conditional formatting, new rule, equal, select the first cell in the column for status, remove the dollar sign before the row index of the cell reference, equal, double quotes, expiring soon, double quotes. Format, we'll select light yellow color, okay, once again, okay.